<clears throat> Good evening. We are still continuing the series of the gate of um, confidence, trust in Hashem, in God, from the book The Duty of the Heart, Chobat <clears throat> Argument. And we continue here saying, if a person is trusting his great wealth, he will be removed from him. And we've seen many, many people lose their money, even though they were, <laughs> excuse me, very, very wealthy at one point. And he says, and it will be given to someone else, such as children, such as rivals, all kinds of things. It doesn't stay go with you down under. <clears throat> As he says in Job, the rich man will lie down and will not collect his eyes, Pekah, to open them, and he's gone. And he says, don't give to your the rich person from your understanding, from your ways of knowing things. And he says, your eyes are going to a see him uh, and, and get tired and he's gone. That is to say, which is very, very, very important. It is paramount, almost as the next the segment before. It's paramount is that that people trust money and make all kinds of excuse, excuse, excuses, yeah, to harm each other and to do all sorts of issues and cross all kinds of lines in the name of the almighty buck as is a very very negative and very detrimental to the person's self even if there are no seeming consequences there always are i was mishandled terribly by people some of whom had money and uh, just as much as i suffered they suffered even more Says another thing it says in the Prophet Jeremiah in in the midst of this life, half days it will be a, he'll have to leave the money. Or he will we have been will be prevented from enjoying it. As is the Kohelet King Shlomo, Solomon, King Shlomo Amelech, says Elohim will not give him to be in charge of it. And this is only a is also is a deposit in the man who is called rich until it will be returned to the person who is worthy of it. And it says to the sinner, he gave the idea to collect and to bring together that wealth to give for someone who is better than him. Better before a god. A person will prepare and a tzaddik will bury this and he will deliver or, sell or, sell or divide clean money. There's nothing more important than being honest in business. Because otherwise, there's so many pitfalls coming down. Especially when the items are large as is real estate or airplanes or ships or whatever the ticket i the, I, the, the larger the ticket the, the more danger there is of slipping up and doing things which one should not and it's possible that the uh, the money the, the fortune will be the reason of an, all the negative things that happen to the person and to the loss of his soul as it says in Ecclesiastics, there is one illness I have seen under the sun, wealth which is guarded to its owners for his detriment, legato, to being bad on him. And then, when someone who trusts God that will bring his uh, trust to him, that he will not serve someone else, will not hope for someone else, 
and will not yearn for other people and will not bring, bring <clears throat> serve them in order to make them like him or make them him look good to them and will not be lo yachnif will not pussyfooty to them and will not agree with those people only in Avodah Hashem. And the way they are should not scare him. And he should not be frightened of their divisions and fights. But will remove himself from there, uh, a, those supposed clothes that they were wearing of, of favors, and the need to respond to them positively, uh, to so-called repay them, and if he's chastising them, which I do, he should not be worried, careful with their owner, and will not, but will shame them, and will not be shamed of them, and not will beautify the lie uh, to them. As the prophet Ishayahu says, Isaiah says, Hashem will help me, and therefore I will not be ashamed. But I put my face as a rock, and I know that I will not be ashamed. In Yechezkel it says, don't worry, be afraid of them and their words. And from their words, don't be afraid. And you won't dare, dread them. And don't dread them like a rock stronger like this little uh, uh, worm that split up the rocks for Beit Amigdash called Shamir. Stronger than the hardest rock I gave your forehead. And a person who is gay is rich. And he trusts Hashem. That trust will bring him to remove his heart, to clear his heart from the matters of this world and to unify his his a uh, his heart only to the matters of serving Hashem and his tranquility and his uh, a happy heart and very little worry for these matters of this world. He would say that Hashem, would he understands, who can tell, he can change silver to gold and copper. And to the and and uh, to copper to silver through wisdom and chemistry, it's called alchemy. And on and the person more than all, the person who trusts God has ten things as an advantage of the other person. Summarization of this: Yes, person should work and should strive. To collect enough money to have a good life. That's trust of Hashem. When a person thinks that they make money, which is something I repeat to people all the time, no one no one makes money. Hashem gives money. When a person trusts Hashem, he will give he or she will be rewarded with everything they need, including monetary affairs and comfort of living. And therefore, it's very important in all matters of business to be very honest and straight and see them only as a necessary means for, for being able to provide for oneself and one's family and in order to make sure that the children go to the proper Torah institutions. The only reason a person goes to work and a person goes to earn money is in order to do that which Hashem gave them the possibilities to do. And that includes tzedakah, giving to other people clean money, not something which is mixed with all and tainted with all kinds of uh, inappropriate conduct. A lot of business people donate money, but their conduct in business is not really honest. And there are many people who uh, ignore that when they take money for their institutions or whatever it is, that the person sitting across from them may not do that honestly, and then the institutions itself may suffer from it. Therefore, one should never trust their own wealth or someone else's wealth, 
Only God and what he provides. 